हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोला नाथ अकेडमी टूडे स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थियरी दैट इज इन शॉर्ट वी कॉल्ड एज एम थियरी स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट इज एम ओ टी एम ओ टी एक्सप्लेन मोर एक्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ नेचर ऑफ बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन बॉन्ड ऑर्डर एंड मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मॉलिकुल्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो फॉर वी हैव सीन द बैलेंस बॉन्ड थियरी नाउ सम nature of bonding electronic configuration of now here we are talking about the molecule we are going to explain the nature of bonding in a molecule electronic configuration of molecule bond order in a molecule and magnetic property of the molecule okay students so valence bond theory some properties that was explained by the mot theory here students valence bond theory we have seen the in last lecture here we are what we are going to see in molecular orbital theory here students number of atomic orbitals number of Atomic orbitals we call as AOS. Number of atomic orbitals always combines. Number of atomic orbitals combines to form same number of same number of molecular orbitals. Okay, students. This is the about the MOT. Now, students, we are going to draw the draw and explain the molecular orbital diagram of simple homo nuclear. Di atomic molecules here the homo nuclear means hydrogen and hydrogens are combined and they are forming hydrogen molecules helium lithium then the, this is called as nitrogen oxygen and fluorine molecules now we are going to draw the molecular orbital diagram of hydrogen helium lithium so nitrogen oxygen and fluorine molecule now first simplest molecule here i am taking students that is hydrogen molecules now if you draw the molecular orbital diagram of hydrogen molecule students you should know the electronic configuration of hydrogen atom atomic number is 1 and electronic configuration will be 1s yes. okay students now energy level diagram now we are going to represent this is the on y axis we are going to represent the energy okay students this will give the energy of the in increasing order from to down to upward direction okay students now what happens students hydrogen atom hydrogen atomic orbitals one of the 1s1 1s1 atomic orbitals of hydrogen atoms combines with other 1s1 atomic orbitals atomic orbitals of hydrogen atom hydrogen atom and they will form the hydrogen molecules hydrogen molecule molecule So now, students, if this is the energy level diagram of the first hydrogen atom, atomic orbitals, and energy of the second hydrogen orbitals, one s orbitals, energy level because both the hydrogen atoms having what one s one, one s one s one electrons. If you because yes, orbital is spherical, so I am drawing one orbitals. Yes, orbital has only one, so it is forming bonding and anti bonding. So bonding orbitals having the always molecular orbitals having the lower energy than the anti bonding. atomic orbitals the bond which is formed we call as sigma 1s and the bond which is formed in anti bonding we call as sigma star 1s okay students so we have a number of atomic orbitals combined number of molecular orbitals are formed here one one atomic orbitals of hydrogen combining it will form the two molecular orbitals that is one is sigma star 1s that is anti bonding anti bonding and it is bonding molecular orbitals so this is the orbital i have drawn the molecular orbital of hydrogen molecules now because 1s having one electrons when they will combine so when the this electron go to the bonding molecular orbitals anti bonding molecular orbital is empty okay students this way you have to draw the structure of molecular orbitals okay students this is the way you have to draw the molecular orbital diagram now students from this you can write down the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule hydrogen yes to molecule you can write the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule so what will be the electron because it is forming the electrons are present in bonding so you can write sigma 1s two electrons are there so you can write like this okay so this is the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule when you see the bond order students bond order in hydrogen molecule students you are you knowing the formula non bonding number of electrons present bonding minus number of electron present in anti bonding and you have to make half 
So students, when you count the number of electrons in bonding, you will find two electrons. In non bonding is there is no electrons. We are putting zero upon two. That means one. That means students bond order will be hydrogen hydrogen. There is a single bond. Okay students. Now when you see the magnetic properties, magnetic property of this hydrogen molecule. See there is no unpaired electrons. So it is no unpaired electrons are there. That means it is not a paramagnetic. Electrons are paired in the orbitals. We called as diamagnetic. The nature of bond. Nature of magnetic property when you see the magnetic property is diamagnetic in nature. Diamagnetic. Okay, students. So this way, students, we can explain the uh, electronic configuration of hydrogen molecules. We can also see the bond order, and we as we can explain the magnetic property of the hydrogen molecules. Now, students, next molecule we are going to see. We are going to draw the molecular orbital diagram of lithium molecules. Now, as you know, students. Electronic configuration of lithium is electronic configuration of lithium atom. If you want to write the electronic configuration of lithium molecule, students, first of all, you students, you should know the electronic configuration of lithium atom. Before writing the electronic configuration, students, you know the electronic number of elect uh, sorry atomic number of lithium atom. What is the atomic number of lithium atom, students? It is three. Electronic configuration now you can write one s two, two s one. Okay, students. This is the electronic configuration of lithium atom. Without electronic configuration of lithium, it is very difficult to draw the molecular orbital diagram. Okay, students. So, students, I am writing the energy. I am first drawing the energy level diagram. This is the on y-axis we are showing energy level from down to upward side. Energy is goes on increasing. Okay, students. Now, what is students? What is happening? Here we are talking about lithium molecules. So, when atomic orbitals, when atomic orbitals of lithium lithium atom one of the atomic orbital lithium atoms atomic orbitals of another lithium atom atomic orbitals of second lithium atoms combine they will form the lithium molecules molecular orbitals molecular orbitals l2 of molecules So you have to start like this, students. So it will becomes very easy to draw the uh, molecular orbitals of lithium atom. Okay, students, because we are talking about atomic orbitals, we are getting the atomic orbitals one s two and two s two, two s one. One s two is having lower energy, so we can draw the energy level over here. Okay, students, one s two. When you see the level of two s one, two s orbitals having more energy than the one s two, so you have to draw two s above the one s one orbitals. So suppose I am drawing here, energy level is higher, one s two and two s orbitals. I will draw at here. Same way, students, it is happening in the second atom because the energy of atomic orbitals is also similar. So you have to draw the similar diagram, similar level. You have to make. I am making the level of the energy level. Now, students, because one s having only one orbitals, atomic orbitals, and two s is also having only one atomic orbitals. Here also, students, when you write the At least atomic electronic configuration, students. You have to here also write one s two and two s one. Okay, students. Now one s two means in orbitals you have two electrons. Two s one means orbitals having one electron. Same thing is happening in this atom also. Two electrons, yeah, one one electrons. Now, students, we are saying. Now, what happens when two one one s two and one s two atomic orbitals of lithium atom combine? They will form the Bonding and anti-bonding. So, students, first I am drawing the energy level of bonding atomic orbitals. Okay, students, and this is the energy level of anti-bonding atomic orbitals. Higher energy than the bonding atomic orbitals. Okay, students, the bond which is formed we call as sigma one s, and the bond which is formed anti-bonding we call sigma star one s. Okay, students, the atomic orbitals diagram here forming one one. One is anti-bonding, other is what bonding. Okay, students. So this way you have to like join. They are coming from these two atomic orbitals. So these are the molecular. Now here we have total four electrons. So four electrons we are going to distribute in molecular orbital. So first two electrons we are going to they are going to fill molecular orbitals. Then the two electrons will go to the anti-bonding. Okay, students. Sure. Now what happens, students? Same thing is happening to us. When two two s uh, atomic orbitals of lithium combine, they will also form bonding and anti-bonding. Bonding atomic orbitals has lower energy. Than the anti-bonding, okay, students. Same way. Now, num it will also have the sigma. It will form the sigma two s bonding atom molecular orbitals, 
when when you present the bond which are present the anti bonding it is called sigma star 2s okay students so students now here also we are going to distribute the two electrons because one electron from this lithium one electron from this they both the electrons will paired in the bonding only anti bonding will not have any electrons okay students this is the way you are going to draw the molecular orbital diagram of lithium molecules so from this molecular orbital diagram you can also explain the electronic configuration of electronic configuration of lithium molecule lithium molecule okay students now here we have seen the electronic lithium atom now we are going to see the electronic lithium molecules students so let us start from there here sigma 1s having how many electrons two electrons so you have to write like this and you have to put the comma like this then you have to write down the sigma star 1s now this anti bonding is also there is two electrons so you have to put like this we are writing the electronic configuration molecular electronic configuration now after that students you are getting sigma 2s it is also having two electrons so you have to write electrons like this sigma star is not having any electrons so we are not writing the molecular electronic configuration so this is the electronic configuration of lithium molecules now students when you students when you see the bond order of lithium molecules bond order bond order bond order students of lithium molecules students the formula is number of electron present in bonding and number of electrons present in anti bonding that we are taking the difference and making half so here students when you see the number of electrons which are present from here also you can see because star is what anti bonding electrons that is two and the without star you have what four electrons so here you can see these two electrons are bonding electron that is four and these electrons are what anti bonding so when you make it half students so there is a you are getting one so that means lithium and lithium will form single bond after students you can see the magnetic property magnetic magnetic property what will be the magnetic property students because there is no unpaired electrons so it is not a paramagnetic all electrons which are present in the they all are paired so it is what diamagnetic in nature it is a diamagnetic so this way students you can explain the electronic configuration of lithium molecules bond order of lithium and you can see the magnetic properties it is a diamagnetic